my family, 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 family have died in Palestine. No, you're not welcome. You're not welcome here. Yeah. Yeah. Get out. Leave, yeah. man. Yeah, man. This is a place of worship. We don't need devils like you here. Move. Move from here. Get out. Get out. Move. Get out. You're not welcome. You're not welcome here. Die in the snow. Die in the Hello and welcome to Lot 49. Today we will be looking at why the Labour Party candidate for Slough, Tan Manjeet Singh Desi, commonly called De Tan Desi, was driven away from a mosque on Friday, the 14th of June. The contents of his response video to that event, and whether or not he was telling the truth during that response video. So on Friday the 14th, Tan Desi, a regular member of Keir Starmer's shadow cabinet, was seeking the votes of Muslims coming out of prayer at the Masjid Mosque in Slough. During this session of campaigning, he was confronted by a few protesters over he and his party's opposition to a lasting peace in Gaza, at which point he promptly left. After the incident, he released a rebuttal to these allegations, which I will now share with you. Candidate for Slough, and in the lead up to the general election on the 4th of July, there's been a considerable amount of misleading information, often spread by those seeking to divide our diverse town. I want to make clear I have never and would never vote against a ceasefire in Gaza. Since first elected by the good people of Slough in 2017, I have been committed to speaking up for all of our diverse communities and for human rights. For years, I have called out the occupation and violence faced by Palestinians. There have been two nights when we voted in the UK Parliament on Gaza, one in November last year and one in February. On that November evening, there were two votes. The Scottish National Party had a motion for wanting the fighting to stop, a ceasefire, they condemned Hamas and wanted hostages released and a surge of aid. 15 minutes before that was a vote on the Labour Party motion for, and I quote, an end to the violence in Israel and Palestine, release of hostages, surge of aid, jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court to investigate war crimes allegations, something not in the SNP motion, along with demanding that Israel lift the siege, stop settler violence and illegal settlements in the West Bank and a two-state solution. I voted for the motion that I felt was the strongest against the violence we have seen in Gaza and that was the best position towards achieving peace to anyone who felt disappointed in me that I didn't vote for a Scottish National Party motion. If voting for it could have even saved one life in Gaza, I would have done it in a heartbeat. The reality is that the SNP decided to abstain on the Labour motion and vice versa, since many in Labour felt that we had a better, more realistic and comprehensive peace plan. To his credit, Tan didn't use the term anti-Semitism in his video, which is normally an instinctual reaction from Labour politicians. But in the video, he mentions two votes, one in November last year and one in February this year. He says he voted for the Labour ceasefire vote, which he says was better for the Palestinians than the SNP ceasefire vote, that was also held on the same night. But is that true? On the 16th of November, there was a Scottish National Party SNP vote, which if it had passed would have amended the King's speech to call for a Gaza ceasefire. While this wouldn't have had any legal effect, coming from the mouth of a pseudo-authoritative source like the King may have shifted government policy towards that end. Nevertheless, Tan Desi abstained on that vote. So clearly Tan's defence that he had voted for a ceasefire at that time is clearly not true. But what about the second time? The second vote took place on the 21st of February. It was an opposition day in the House of Commons, a day in which opposition parties, i.e. non-governing parties, get to pick the subjects of discussion. On this day, the SNP wanted to debate an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and put forward a motion for the House of Commons to vote on. Normally, the governing party gets to propose amendments to this before it is voted on and opposition parties do not. However, that day, the Labour Party leader, Keir Starmer, put forward an amendment adjusting the wording to an immediate humanitarian pause and added that Israel cannot be expected to cease fighting 
if Hamas continues with violence. While the Conservative Party also proposed amendments, the Speaker of the House then allowed both sets of motions to be voted on. However, the Labour Party amendment was voted on by what is called a voice vote, where the Speaker judges which side wins by the volume produced by the voters. This method is utterly unscientific and is used to conceal the elector's choice. In this second vote for a ceasefire, there is no way to tell if Tan backed the Labour Party's amendments that would allow for the conflict in Gaza to start up again. Before I finish this video, I wanted to make some comments on it. First, Labour has not backed a permanent ceasefire in the Gaza conflict, only a humanitarian pause, that allows for the fighting to resume at a later date. Tan lied about that too. And secondly, the voice vote is a ridiculous system that should not have been impl implemented here. It serves to obscure an MP's votes, something that should be publicly known. It also highlights how antiquated the UK's political system still is. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. The sources used can be found down in the description and in the credits. This video was inspired by a video from the YouTube channel Jantakar Reporter, and you can find similar videos there. As with all video channels, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.